fun. That is one of the reasons I watch anime. Yeah, you have those shows with deep, intricate plots, thrilling twists, deep characters, and all that. And yeah, it's all well and good. I like it quite a bit. But there are times when I just want to sit back, smile, laugh at a show that doesn't aim for anything complex. And that is exactly what I got when I watched Sorcery in the Big City last night. I was originally watching it as I was going through my list of shows from 2018 that I needed to watch before I made my massive top list. And then I realized it was actually a 2017 anime. Oops. So I decided I might as well make a quick video telling you why you should go watch it. Sorcery in the Big City is a 40 minute ONA that takes place around Christmas featuring a character named Akari coming back to New York after living in Japan for 15 years and she comes back to work for the New York Police Department. On Christmas Eve, a witch brings many Christmas decorations and toys to life and they cause chaos. But it also brings to life Akari's stuffed bear named Apple, who then fights off the evil Christmas toys. The show is very simple, but that's what makes it work. I just love seeing it lavish in like the police stereotypes and the extreme reactions of Akari's partner Emma. There's a lot of ridiculousness to the story, which is kind of the whole point to it. The action is great, with Apple flying through the air, fighting the witch, and everything else. And it, I like the cool camera effects, the way he used CG to do the action. And of course, there were a lot of explosions as well. There's also a lot of great heart behind the characters. Akari wants to protect New York just like her father. And despite Emma's grip exterior, she wants to look out for and care for Akari. And then you have Apple, who just wants to be there to protect Akari and everything she loves. These motivations are simple, but they make the characters easy to root for, and that's what the show is all about. There's also a sense of wonder throughout the story. Like, the magic isn't explained, but it doesn't need to be. That's what makes it so fantastical. And then I love the whole color and animation style. The anime reminds me a lot of the movie Little Nemo from like 20 years ago. Just how it feels. Maybe it's 30 years, I'm not sure. Or also, Little Witch Academia with the whole wonder and sense of magic and all that. This is a show about good people doing the best they can to protect the town and city that they love. Which, for a show about Christmas, what more could you want? So if you want to spend 40 minutes having fun, go watch this. Not a lot to say, but I think it will be something worth your time.